Good afternoon, this is HorseRacingNation.com Handicapper Jared Horak, and this is the video feature race of the week. This week's feature race for Saturday, August 9th, is going to be the 10th race from Saratoga, the Grade 2 Four Star Dave. It'll be three year olds and up, and they'll be, they'll be traveling one mile on the inner turf course. Uh, we have a six horse field. Let's look at the track profile. They've run 15 races so far on the inner turf course at eight furlongs. Um, and in those 15 races, four horses have gone wire to wire. A lot of the other winners, uh, they've come from stalking the pace, a, a few lengths off the pace. Now, the, the last, last week, they ran eight races on that, at that one-mile distance on the inner turf course. Only one horse went wire to wire, most of the winners coming from a few lengths off the lead. So basically what it looks like is we want a horse that's going to be sitting within striking range and pounce on the leaders turning for home. Uh, let's meet the six-horse field now. Number one, Silver Max is your favorite, nine to five morning line. Uh, he's three for six at one mile. He's one for one at Saratoga. He won the grade two Bernard Baruch last year. Uh, he's going to be out there, uh, probably going to be the one to catch. He's got the inside post, uh, and he's probably going to use that inside post, go right out to the front, try to go wire to wire. And he's got a decent shot, especially if he can uh, shake loose early. Uh, the five side looks like the only other horse that has a lot of speed that's going to put any kind of pressure on him. Uh, the two in here, Seek again, he's actually going to be my top choice in this race. He's been running in longer races, but he began his career in three seven furlong races in Great Britain on the turf with two wins and a second. So he did run well at that seven furlong distance. Since coming to the United States, he was first in the, in the Grade 1 Hollywood Derby at 10 furlongs. He was second in the Grade 1 Turf Classic, just missed in a photo to Wise Dan. And then he was third in the Grade 1 Manhattan last time, made a nice move from off the pace, flattened out a little bit, ended up finishing third. Uh, he's 3-1 to one on the morning line. Now, Bill Matt, Mott dis had a decision. He was either going to go in the Arlington Million at 10 furlongs or cut back in distance and go for the one-mile distance. He picked this spot. I think this is a good spot for him. The fact that Mott is having a good meet and he chose this spot over the Arlington Million uh, tells me that, that he thinks he can run a mile. And I think he's got the class uh, to run down Silver Max. Of uh, the three is Jack Milton. Uh, he's, he's fresh coming off of a decent layoff. Uh, he didn't run as well. Uh, when, it, when they shipped him to Southern California last time, but trainer Ty Pletcher said he didn't have the greatest spacing. Maybe he ran him back too quick. He's fresher here. He's two for four at one mile. Uh, he'll be sitting from pretty far back and trying to make a, a big late run. It's just a question of, of is he going to be too far back in the early going? He obviously has, has ability at, at the one mile distance and five to two morning line though. He might not offer enough value. Uh, Dorsett's the four. Uh, this one's either going to come from mid-pack or, or come from a little bit further off the pace. Uh, class is the question for him. He's 0 for 6 in the graded ranks, and he's 20 to 1 morning line. Uh, the 5 Syed, we mentioned him earlier. He's the one that, that could hurt Silver Max in here. He has speed. He's 2 for 3 at 1 mile. He's run two races at Saratoga on the turf with a win and a second. Um, he's 0 for 1 in the graded ranks. He's only run one um, one time in, in the graded ranks, and he didn't hit the board that day. Uh, so he's 5-1 to one morning line, and he's going to uh, show some speed for trainer Karen McLaughlin. Uh, class is a question for him. We just don't know uh, where he classes up with these. And then the six grand arch will round out the field. This one, 8-1 to one morning line. At one mile, he's got four starts with a win, two seconds, and a third. Uh, he comes off of a, a, a victory at one mile in the grade two King Edward at Woodbine. Um, uh, his big question is going to be, uh, again, uh, classing up with, with this kind. Uh, the Woodbine race was good, uh, but this is probably uh, better horses than, than he has met. And 8-1, uh, and uh, you're going to get value if, if you do like him. Now, it's a shorter field. Uh, we mentioned how the track profile played. And the way I'm going to play this, I'm just going to make a win wager this week. We're going to go with a $40 win wager on Seek again. I think uh, Bill Mott cutting him back in distance looks like a good sign. I think he's the class of the field. And he's going to sit uh, maybe third or fourth, a few lengths off the lead. He's going to pounce turning for home. And I think he's going to win this one nicely. Maybe they go to the Woodbine Mile if he runs well here. And then maybe the, the Breeders' Cup Mile uh, towards the end of the year. Uh, you can follow Horse Racing Nation on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Uh, go over to DerbyWars.com. We have a $20,000 game this week uh, featuring Del Mar and Saratoga. And then we have our big $100,000 game that we've been mentioning August 31st, September 1st. Go over to DerbyWars.com for more details. And then Pick6Blog.com, you can see my, my uh, Pick6 and Late Pick4 selections from Saratoga each weekend. Uh, so go over to Pick6Blog.com uh, for free Pick6 and Late Pick4 selections each weekend from Saratoga Racecourse. Thought I'd wrap up this week's video. Uh, good luck at the races.